Hi friends, in this video we will discuss uh, a convolution sum between uh, step signal to step signal. Uh, determine the output of discrete LTI system if x of n is u of n and uh, h of n is u of n by graphical method. Both, uh, both the sequences are said to be step signals. Uh, let us find the convolution sum between these two sequences. We have formula for finding the convolution sum y of n equal to summation over the limits k equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of k multiplied by h of n minus k. See uh, both x of n and h of n have to represent uh, in the form of index k. Uh, so first I will represent uh, x of k. x of k means u of k. u of k means index k is there. So u of k equal to what? It is 1 uh, where the value of k is uh, greater than or equal to 0. Hence, it is the x of k. Similarly, we have to sketch h of n minus k. As we discussed in the previous videos for the convolution integral, here also same. We have to put n equal to 0. If you substitute n equal to 0, it becomes h of minus k. h of minus k means uh, h of minus k means it is the reflection of what? h of minus k is what? It is the reflection version of uh, uh, h of k. Hence, wherever k is there, replace it by minus k. H of k is also a step signal. So H of k, uh, H of k has its amplitude one when the value of k is greater than or equal to zero. If we take a reflection of that one, means H of uh, minus k means uh, uh, H of minus k equal to one, but the value of k is uh, less than or equal to zero. Less than or equal to uh, zero. So uh, this one we have to sketch. Uh, h of minus k now this signal is constant keeping constant and second signal that is h of minus k we have to keep on shifting first signal first signal we have to keep constant and second signal we have to keep on shifting uh, we have to observe two cases that is uh, non-overlap and overlap cases first go for uh, non-overlap case uh, we have to take the second signal and place over the first signal in such a way that there is no overlap. I am going to, this is the reference point as we know, this indicates the starting point, this indicates k equal to n equal to 0, this indicates k equal to n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4, so on, okay. Uh, now, this is our the reference point, that is n, our reference point is what, n. Hence, uh, take the signal and place over the first signal in such a way that there is no overlap. When there is, when there is no overlap, if this n value is lesser than 0. So first case is what? If n is less than 0, then there is no overlap. Uh, that part we have to sketch. Uh, first the signal is what? This is this part indicates what? x of k, 0 to 4, so on. And what we taken? n is less than 0. You can place here, you can place here, you can place anywhere, but that should be less than 0. Then there is no overlap. Hence the result is what? y of n equal to 0 for n is less than 0. Next case is overlap case, uh, that is if the value of n is greater than or equal to 0. First signal as it is I will sketch 0, 1, 2, 3, so on, 4, so on, 5, so on. It is first signal x of k. What we take in condition? The second signal reference point is 1, starting point is n and that n is greater than or equal to 0. You can place anywhere but after 0. So you can if you place here, if, it is, if you place here means, so I am going to sketch. It is the first signal. First signal it is, and second signal. This is what the reference point of uh, first signal zero. If I place here, somewhere here, if it is n, okay, it is second signal. Now overlap region. Uh, this sample and this sample, two samples get overlap. So uh, what about the limits? Zero to n. Zero to n um, becomes overlap. So other case, first signal as it is. 0 1 2 3 so on first signal as it is second signal if i place here starting point is what n it is n minus 1 it is n minus 2 n minus 3 n, mi n minus 4 n minus 5 so on now it is 0 now tell me here three samples get overlap but the limits are what 0 to n similarly if i place here one second we are getting what uh, it is the starting point of first signal and it is this uh, starting point of second signal and limits becomes 0 to n. Hence, instead of writing minus infinity to plus infinity, I will write 0 to n. x of k, h of n minus k. x of k is what? Amplitude, it is 1. h of n minus k also has amplitude 1. Substitute here. Hence, uh, summation over limits k equal to 0 to uh, n, 1. 
so adding 1 0 to n times means it is n plus 1 so what is that y of n equal to n plus 1 where n is greater than or equal to 0 so in concise considering two cases y of n equal to 0 if n is less than 0 y of n equal to n plus 1 if n is greater than or equal to 0 two cases we got let us guess the result uh, first n is less than 0 amplitude is 0 n is less than 0 amplitudes are 0 0 0 for all the values it is 0 okay next n equal to 0 substitute here 0 plus 1 n equal to 0 we have 1 okay next n equal to 1 1 plus 1 n equal to 1 1 plus 1 it is 2 n equal to 2 2 n equal to 2 2 plus 1 3 n equal to 3 3 plus 1 4 so on it is y of n so in this uh, uh, video we discussed about uh, conversion between conversion sum between a uh, step signal and uh, another step signal uh, let us take uh, uh, one uh, egg homework for you uh, x of n equal to u of n minus 1 and h of n equal to u of n plus 2 let us find the conversion between these two signals that is y of n equal to uh, x of n coupled with h of n put the answer in the comment box thank you thank you very much